ask to find the distance. Using the DST triangle, you should just cover up the D. And what remain? We have S and T remain. Today we are going to do average speed. I am going to use DST triangle to this. Why am I using this triangle? This triangle will help us to remember the formula to calculate speed, distance and time. Right. So here is the DST triangle. So when we talk about how far the car travel, we are referring to the distance. And when we talk about how fast the bus travel, we are talking about the speed in which the bus travel. You understand? And when we talk about how long the truck takes to reach St. James, or how long a truck takes to reach the destination. We are referring to time. So, the DST triangle, this will facilitate or help us to, to remember the formula how to find or how to calculate the distance, the speed, and the time. DST triangle, so if I cover up this D, right? If you are asked to find the distance using the DST triangle, you should just cover up the D and what remain? We have S and T remain. Therefore, we know that distance equal speed time time. You get that? So, we cover up the D, we have S and T remain. So, S and t down here is telling us that we should multiply s times t so the formula is distance equals speed times time you get that no to find the speed we will have to cover up the s so we know that we have d over t which is the same thing as division so we are going to div over time and to find the time now we just cover up the T and we have leave. What do we have left? We have distance over speed. You see that? So when we cover up the T, we have D and S leave. So we have D over S. You see that? Therefore, time equal distance over speed. So example number one Abu example example number one a bullet takes four seconds to travel a distance of 1400 meters calculate the average speed of the bullet so they are saying that we should find the average speed in which a bullet travel you get that so since they're asking us to find the speed in which the bullet travel I am going to use the DST triangle to help me to remember the formula to use you get that so I am going to cover up this S no, I have D over T. You see that? Therefore, S equal D over T. Alright. So the S here represents speed. D represents distance. T represents time. You see that? No. This is the distance in which the bullet travel, 1400 meters, and this is the time it takes. It takes 4 seconds to travel this 
distance. You get that? Therefore, 1400 divided by 4 because we have 1400 meters which is the distance and 4 seconds which is the time so 4 seconds is the time 1400 meters is the distance the bullet travel so the bullet takes 4 seconds to, to, to travel this distance 1400 meters now I am going to calculate this for you so s equal 1400 divided by 4 using my calculator 1400 divided by 4 equal 300 and 50 therefore m therefore the average speed in which the bullet travel is 350 meters per second see that 350 meters per second so this is how we calculate or find the average speed of a bullet. See that? Example number two. An aeroplane travels for 10 hours at an average speed of 850 kilometers per hour. What was the distance covered in that period? So they are asking us to find the distance in which the aeroplane travel. So we need to tell them the distance the aeroplane travel to. Alright. So since we are going to find the distance. What I am going to do with this DST triangle. I am going to cover up the D. You see that? So now I am going to write D here which is the same thing as distance equal so since we cover up the the d we have s t s t is basically telling us that we should multiply s time t and please remember please note d is distance s is speed t is time so Using the DST triangle help us to remember the formula to use to calculate distance. So now we are going to solve this problem. So what is the speed? Alright, the speed is 850 kilometers per hour. Therefore, I'm going to write 850 km slash times what is the the time 10 hours therefore 10 h and h is a, is the shortening for our year so now we have 850 kilometers per hour per hour times 10 hour hours. So this H cancel this H. Now we have 850 km times 10 so since we are dealing with multiplication and we have 10 here we can just write we can just add the zero and this so we have 800 and so i'm going to write 850 adding the zero would be 8500 kilometers 
So this would be the distance the the plane travel. This would be the distance the plane travel. 8,500 kilometers. You see that? So you just multiply 850 times 10, which is the same thing as 8,500. So this is our answer. Example number three. And this is our final example for this video or this lesson. How long will a truck take to travel 80 kilometers at an average speed of how long? Let us do the final example. Example number three. How long will a truck take to travel 80 kilometers at an average speed of 40 kilometers per hour? All right. The key words here, how long, is telling us that we are going to find the time. Therefore, I am going to cover up the T and this DST triangle. Hence, I'm going to write T because the time is what we are going to find. Equal. So, and this DST triangle, we have D over, we have D over S. We cover up T, now we have D over S. Therefore, D over S. You see that? So T is the time, D distance, S represents speed. So equal what is the what is the distance the chalk travel? Alright. Eighty kilometers is the distance the chalk travel. So therefore 80 kilometers divided by average speed is 40 kilometers per hour therefore 40 divided by km slash hour you see that so now I am going to use this M to cancel this M, this K to cancel this K. 40 into itself goes one time. 40 into 80 goes two times. Therefore, the chalk will take the chalk will takes two hours to travel. 80 kilometers at an average speed of 40 kilometers per hour this is our answer two hours the chalk will take so this is how we calculate um this is how we find the time for a particle final this is the end of another interesting lesson and if you if you are enjoying my content if you are enjoying the content please subscribe share like leave a comment